Hey, it's Matt the Mole Hunter with McGee Farms and uh, done, a, uh, done a video on the forks, the bolt-on forks for the front bucket of the tractor and uh, haven't had a whole lot of luck with them so far, but uh, we figured we'd try some of the other things, see what they do. So here's the question. Uh, these forks, 100 bucks off of Amazon, will they move a large round bale of hay? I've got my other tractor right now I'm doing some maintenance on and I need to get a bale in, so I figure, why not? So I've got them hooked up, I've got them on the XR4041 tra LS tractor, and uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Well, so far, so good, no issues with it. This is about a thousand pound bale, got right under, lifted right up, uh, only, issue at all that I had with it. It's just the dogs decided to come out and run with me and uh, trying to make sure they don't run underneath it just in case it falls off. So I got just a little ways to go to get it in with the horses and the goats and the sheep. So we'll see what happens. All right, we got it in. Try to get it lined up. I'm going to go cut the netting off and uh, See if I can pick it up and drop it in rather than having to move this hay ring for a change. So get her all lined up, which we got her now. I'm going to go cut off this netting and let's see uh, if it'll pick it up and drop it in. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. See if it'll lift it. thing I'm not over not overly fond of is the visibility right now but I'm gonna creep and go super slow with this to be safe Bale is very wobbly, so it's kind of kind of concerning me a little bit. I don't want it to come back on me. I really don't want to mess up my tractor. I like it. just got it, and I like this tractor. But I'm gonna ease the bucket a little bit up and float it. I think we should be good. About to see the moment of truth. Here we go. Hey, not bad. Not too shabby at all. I just got to get out, get the rest of that netting because uh, it was resting on the fork, so I couldn't get it off there, but. Not bad. It's rated for 1,500 pounds, so definitely, you know, under what the bale was. But like I said, I haven't haven't been overly impressed with these forks yet. But uh, I am a little bit now. So anyway, it's uh, Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, give us a like, leave us a comment, or share it with friends. It's always appreciated.